Welcome back. I'm Melissa Lang. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do single leg side lifts. It's a follow on from our side lie breathing. If you haven't already seen our breathing videos, please view them first. It'll make more sense when I explain this exercise to you. Okay, with the side lie breathing and the leg extension, what you want to do is you want to set it up the same way that you did your side lie breathing. So you're going to make sure that the hip is stacked, the rib cage is lift, you waist coat the ribs at the front and you pull the muscles up from the pubic bone without pulling the pubic bone with it. In addition to that, you're going to extend the leg. I love this exercise because it does a lot of things. First of all, most of us are very tight in the iliopsoas and what you're going to do is the psoas goes from your femur and attaches to the lower vertebra of your um, spine and up to T12. So if this is the origin and this is the insertion, you want to hold at the origin and allow the insertion to pull away. So we're gently stretching the psoas. And we're distracting the, the leg out of the hip socket. So in a sense, the only thing that's holding the leg in the hip socket is your psoas. So you want to draw that upwards. So you're going to take a breath in. And on the exhale, once you've got everything going, you're going to reach this leg out. So your glute med is going to be working a little bit to bring the leg up but you're really going to be stretching out the psoas. At the same time, when you are lying down, the other muscle group that gets really tight is your upper trapeze. So you're going to be able to stretch out your upper trapeze by turning your head sideways down and reaching the arm along the back of the body. So feeling the back shoulder blade slide down your back and connecting with the muscle that you feel underneath your armpit. Okay. So by doing that, we're releasing the upper trapeze and stretching out the psoas. Two muscles that get very tight that I explained in earlier in my breathing uh, seminars that you want to be able to release these two muscles. So let's just have a little bit of a play. So you're lying down. You turn your head down towards your armpit. Keep in mind that you want your spine to be as long as possible. So what we need to do is make sure that your head is reaching for your fingertips and your tailbone is reaching in the opposite direction, so you're pulling your spine as long as it possibly can be. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, you're going to lift the underneath rib, close the ribs at the front, feel the muscles pull up, and now as you reach through your fingertips, reach the leg. Don't lift it too high, only hip height, and reach the leg out. Turning the head down, you'll feel the stretch here, You'll feel the pull up here and you'll feel the work down through the back and relax. Breathe in and as you exhale, lift the rib, waistcoat, zip and then lengthen out as much as you can. The sequence needs to always be breath, then centre and then action. It's important that you do that because the sequencing of these muscles are really important. If you go into action straight away, you'll miss the point entirely. 